Hello and welcome to our tutorial video about the MEPI DeFi Editor. M8085A MEPI DeFi Editor is used to generate DeFi signals which can be used to test the DOT's compatibility to this standard. In the main screen we can see three panels. One is the Connection Setup panel, where we can get the AWG system information. Second one is the Connection Diagram panel, which displays on how the setup needs to be done for the current configuration. And last, we have the Parameters panel, where we can provide global parameters which will be used to generate the signal. Let's look into the details about the Connection Setup panel. I will go through them step by step. First, we can see the Calibrated Values option. This option is to run the DeFi editor with calibrated values which are obtained by running the calibrated procedures. These are a part of the DeFi CTS plugin. This will be covered in a different video. Next checkmark is the offline mode, which is used when we want to run DeFi editor without connecting to real instruments. Then there is the AWG setup. The software supports the M8195A and M8190A AWG module. Upon selecting M8190A, the connection diagram will be changed, as the setup differs from the one with the M8195A. The M8190A has two modules. DeFi provides a synchronization connection between master and slave, so a clock signal is required. Out of the two modules, one module generates clock signal. The other module generates data signal. So only one data lane configuration is possible with M8190A. It supports a connection to the oscilloscope that allows the automatic alignment of the two different AWG modules. Let's see the options available in M8195A. Since M8195A has four channels in one module, clock and data lane can be in the same module or in a different module. The option separate module gives you the flexibility of selecting this. Upon selecting separate module you can see that the connection diagram is changed. The clock is on the low module, the data is on the clock module. Synchronization is done using a sync module that is high slip address when more than one module is used. We insert this address here. When the multi-lane configuration is chosen, we can select via the drop-down menu with the different data lanes. The M8085A software supports up to four data lanes for the MEPI DeFi. There is a difference for the configuration of the four-channel mode and the dual-channel mode. In 4-channel mode, we can generate a signal up to 8 gigabits per second. For higher data rates up to 16 gigabits per second, the dual-channel mode needs to be selected. The connection diagram changes when selecting the dual-channel. You can see that the first channel and the fourth channel normal outputs are used to generate the signal. Now the first and the second channel are in use to support the fourth channel configuration. So the DeFi editor is completely flexible supporting both lower and higher data rates with all different kinds of configurations possible. After doing the system configurations, click on connect. We change to the second screen. There are different subgroups available. Let's start with the data pattern subgroup, which allows us to configure the mode of the DeFi signal. There are two different run modes, which are supported by the DeFi editor. Interrupted and continuous. In the interrupted mode, the AWG system is stopped and started before applying any changes on DeFi signal. In the continuous mode, AWG system is not stopped. The new pattern is calculated while the current signal maintains its state. After pattern calculation, the changes are applied and then there is a continuous signal at the DUT. This is mainly required for the hysteresis test, where the DUT expects change of voltage levels on the fly without stopping the AWG system. Then let's talk about the DeFi signal modes. The default mode is the burst mode where a signal is generated with the provided HS data and the LP data. The data is provided in hex bytes and the signal will generate automatic LP, HS and HS LP transitions. HS is the high speed state and LP is the low power state of the DeFi signal. HS data input can also be done with the help of a file, which can be selected upon clicking the browse button. When manual LP framing is selected, escape and trigger sequence will not be added before the LP data and also mark 1 state will not be added at the end. LP states such as LP00, LP11, LP10 and LP01 can be input in the LP data text box. Another option is the frame mode where we can generate complex signals such as the short and long packets of the DSI and the CSI protocol 
desk queue calibration signals of specification 1.2, etc. Example sequences can be found in this folder. This is stored in the program data in a hidden folder. Select Option Hidden Folder and when you browse to Bidify Valley Frame button and DeFi, you will find all the example sequences in this folder. Next software features are the modification of the data rate and the transition times. Also here you can change the SSC, the spread spectrum clocking, which is required to test DOTs that support the DeFi specification 2.0. Finally, we have the signal modification and impairments group, which consists of several parameters. Upon selecting any group, the properties belonging to that group can be seen in the parameters panel. For example right now, signal level selected and the properties and the signal levels can be modified here. If we change to the protocol timings group, then the properties and the protocol timings are listed, which can be changed freely. We also support intersymbol interference, jitter skew, delay, signal interference. Everything can be changed upon selecting each of the different groups. Once all the properties are set as required, we need to click on the apply button in order to generate the DeFi signal. The status can be seen here. Right now, it is not started. Upon clicking apply, we can see the signal generation is being done and progress is shown. After the signal is generated, the status is finished. If there are any errors during the generation of the signal, these errors will be reported. Hope you were able to give you an idea about the M8085A MEP DeFi editor functionality. Thank you for watching.